Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that for many of us, this Friday is payday? <laughs> I was going to say Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. Oh, that too. That's where I thought you were going with that So if you check us and show up, perhaps there are some spooky strings being pulled behind the scenes somewhere. Oh my goodness. I hope it does though, or else I'm going up to the 10th floor and I know exactly what you're talking about. Andy, I'm looking at you. (laughs) Morning, guys. Thanks for stopping by the Today and AZ After Show. We're talking about money. Mm -hmm. You guys ever, before we get started, have you ever had an instance where you just lucked into some extra cash that you didn't expect? Yeah, recently I was in uh, Minnesota. It wasn't a lot of money, but I was in Minnesota for training for that yeah. drone racing event that we just had here this past weekend at Chase Field. And I was walking out around and I looked at the floor and there was a $100 bill on the floor. Really? And it was in the venue where we were having the event at. And I was like, okay, what do I do? So I picked it up and I told the people when, you know, the people working there, I'm like, hey, I found this 100 bucks, but it could have been right claimed by anybody because right there's so many people there um and they're like okay they're like well one i would have kept it they're like so you're a good person that you turned it in right. they're like but we're gonna hold it here for you and at the end of the night if nobody claims it it's yours and i'm like okay so then the night comes and nobody claimed it so i was yay! like yay so i we went to the minnesota state fair yeah. the next day so i shared it. i used that money to buy my co-host we had food there you know and i yeah. spent the money on there so we like nice. save money. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We find so pennies. Yeah. I couldn't believe it was a hundred dollar bill. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. I know. I feel like somebody would notice that, but right? no. And it was folded up, so like they just had it yeah. in their pocket. Yeah. Now, if that were my hundred dollars, it'd be nowhere. Yeah. I know where it's at, you know? For sure. Yeah. So I was excited about Went that. Went to Disney Lucky World you. as a kid and uh, same thing. Found like three crumpled up twenties on the ground. <laughs> like when you're 14 or 15, that's like winning the lottery. Right. Yeah. Especially in a place like Disney, <laughs> Disney World. World. And so me and my buddy ended up splitting it because we couldn't agree on who laid eyes on it first. Ah, uh, yes. And then, you know, it's like calling shotgun when you're about to get in the car. Mm-hmm. There are a, There's an explicit set of rules defining money <laughs> on the ground. Uh, and so we ended up splitting it, but I couldn't help but feel bad even at the time because you could just tell crumpled up money was probably some kid's money that mom gave him to hold Aww. on to when he lost it. Some kid got in trouble, but I got to have more fun at Disney World as a result. <laughs> what are you going to do if you just start walking around with found cash somebody's right, gonna somebody's take, gonna it, take it yeah it's you're the sucker if you don't hold on to it uh anyway so the reason we bring this up is because the story we were talking about this morning on today in ac that we're carrying over into the after show regards a pennsylvania couple okay. that woke up to discover hundred and twenty thousand dollars in their checking account according to buzzfeed they woke up and decided okay we're gonna spend this cash they bought an suv <laughs> a couple four wheelers wow camper, a race car they gave 15 grand oh to some gosh. friends now they did pay some bills and fix up their car but here's what happened so the bank obviously discovered oh yeah. we messed up they took all the money back then hit them with overdraft fees for the shopping spree now they're facing felony charges because mm-hmm. they worked out some payment plan with the bank then decided to renege on the whole thing uh they're in trouble so th- we've been asking you all morning long what would you do if you accidentally uh, discovered this money in your account or a better question yet what if it was yours to keep and it wasn't, you know, a mistake. What would you do no. just with an unexpected six-figure addition to your checking? So I will tell you, so before we moved here, or I guess we were in the process of moving here, you know, my husband quit his job in Texas, moved here, started working, um, put in his notice, obviously all that good stuff, but the other employer was still paying him. Like, this went on for three months. Oh. Really? He was still getting paychecks. And he called his boss. He called. The, they're like, oh, you got to go to HR. I went to HR. I went to, all the while, the checks are still coming in. And we're like, what, what are you doing with it? Yeah. Do not spend it. Do not spend it. We were just too nervous. We were too nervous. <laughs> and so it took probably almost two months for them to figure it out. And so I'm like, well, that's a little bonus, like a thank you for your service. Yeah. Now, they were like, you have to pay the money back. We'll give you time, but you got to pay it back. But fortunately, we didn't you spend, spend it. You didn't spend it, so that's good. Aww. I know, but they figured it out. And then, of course, they want the money back. It is their money. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, it's your mistake. It was their mistake. We did try to warn you several yeah. times. But yeah, no such luck. There should be like a finder's fee in situations like that. One of you brought that up said. on the show this morning. I'm yeah. like, you need like, a, I think for that couple, they should have said, you know what? Keep 10% of it, 20% of it, you know for your troubles. But how crazy of them to just go spend it like that, knowing know. that yeah, it could be taken a, away from you. Is anybody else wowed by how much stuff they bought with 120? I didn't know you could stretch it that far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought just an RV was 120. Yeah. They're but then giving they away to friends. A sports car. Like, Here, money for you. I like too. the couple of four-wheelers. I yeah. Mean, like, wow. They got their money's worth. So like some of that stuff, yeah, I get what you do with it, right? You return it, you whatever. What do you do with the 15 grand you gave to your friends? You, you can't ask for that no, money back, can't right? Ask for it back. You can't be like, hey, by the way, the, the bank figured out they messed up. I need that cash back, Tommy. Sorry. You're out of luck. 
Uh, all right, let's get to some of your comments about this. Yeah. James says goodbye to student loans or goodbye mortgage. Oh, that'd be fantastic. That Just be to be nice? debt free. Yeah, yeah. that would be so yeah. nice. My that'd first thing nice. would be pay off my student loan because that thing's been there forever. <laughs> Can I get rid of it, please? I, I just don't had to refinance mine for like the fourth time, and it's just like you never, you never pay it off. Oh, no, I'm actually close. Death death. Not too bad, Good. but um, I still, it's been forever, you yeah. know. Oh, so that would sure. be my first. Yeah, thing. I see some student loans here. A lot of people paying off bills. Mm -hmm. Take my family bills. out, says Fernando. Give I a, would take a good vacation. I'd probably save half or save a good chunk, and then I would take like a really extravagant vacation with the family. Where would you go? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I would go to Europe. Maybe I could finally afford Disney. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what I would do, but whatever. I would do it like to the nines, like do the full five-star hotel and yes. I would feel so say. guilty about that. No way. No. I'd, I'd take a stingy vacation <laughs> somewhere that sucked. I'd be like, no, I went on a vacation. I spent some of that money. Oh my gosh, no. I would do it up. Lauren says I'd give some to my parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romero Romero says some sort of... Uh, some sort of complex that rescues homeless people and homeless animals, oh, so we're safe that. and we're oh, about one another. That's a great that. idea too. Yeah. Lots of philanthropists in the comment section this morning. Uh, pay off medical bills. A lot of people talking about medical Ooh. insurance too. Oh my That's gosh! That's such a yeah. damning thing about the state of health insurance in this country. That like half of the people responding to this are saying medical Doctor bills, bills. Are paying off medical bills. I know. Yep. Expensive. That's right. Even with bills, insurance. bills, bills. All right. <laughs> Big time. Get some of your stuff in right now. Krista says medical 700 a month out of pocket. Right wow. Now. So Jeez. sorry about that, Krista. Man, All right. Uh, let's get to our ICYMI this morning. In case you missed this on Today in AZ, uh, it was a pretty exciting thing, even though I don't know at the moment what that exciting <laughs> thing is. Let's watch it together. 54% of all parents would be shocked to know that their kids have done this. What is this? Let's check in with your final tweets. Cheated on a test. Oh, how could oh. you? Yeah. Snuck out. That's Snuck from out. Ashley yeah. and Flagstaff. Selena says uh, shoplifting. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Sticky fingers. Oh, bueno. Their children once played truth oh, or uh, dare. Uh, spin the bottle. Oh, People my gosh. Play spin the bottle? Look, this is real simple. Whatever miles we put on will take off. How? We'll drive home backwards. <laughs> no. Oh, Whoa. I'm glad I never did that. I never did that. <laughs> She's done a lot of things, but not but that. Not that. <laughs> I would have been petrified. Never did that either. That is so scary. Uh -uh. Could you imagine getting caught? No. I was never brazen enough to do this. My youngest brother is. <gasps> really? Uh, did he get caught? Of course you did. <laughs> when you're 15 years old, you're not as sneaky as you think you are. Mm -hmm. All right, oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Yeah. We were talking about this during the break, and Chris, I was like, we were talking about some of the things that I've done in my past yes. um, <laughs> that my parents now Maybe know before, about, yes. you know what I mean? But back then they didn't know. <laughs> Chris was like, gosh, I didn't do anything bad. <laughs> I know, I was like, I'm an angel child. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is a good oh, sub discussion, guys. What's something that you got away with as a kid that you don't mm -hmm. mind sharing with us? We won't tell your parents, I promise. That's so funny. So mine, now they know, but they didn't know back then. Um, I went to Rocky Point, and yeah. I told them that we were going to, like, Flagstaff or something. Yeah. And so we, <laughs> so actually, my mom doesn't watch this, so we went twice. So the first time we didn't get caught, the second time we did get caught, but oh my because gosh. my best friend's boyfriend went and snitched. It's always the best friend. Yes, boyfriend. so it was a uh, communication. So I told my parents we were going to Flagstaff. Mm -hmm. She told her mom we were going to Rocky Point because she was allowed to go. Yeah. And then she also told her boyfriend that we were going to Flagstaff so that way she wouldn't get caught, right. you know? So then he was like, why can't I get a hold of her? Because our phones didn't work over there. Uh -huh. Goes to the mom's house. And the mom's like, oh, they're in Rocky Point. He goes, oh, really? Because they told me they were going to Flagstaff. So then he goes to my house and tells my parents. And my parents are like, what? So, oh, my gosh, I got back. I was in so oh much gosh. trouble. Did All because of my boyfriend. That was just me. Yeah. Did they just hit you with it? Or did they, like, string you along and try to trap you oh into telling So finally story. when the phone worked. I had text messages like, you better get home oh. now. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. And there was nothing I could do, you know? We're no, on the road trying to get out. back. So as soon as I knew I hit that <laughs> the driveway, they were like, everybody needs to go and you get yeah. your butt inside now. And I was like, okay. I was so scared. And all because of her boyfriend. She ended up marrying the guy. They're not oh. together now. Um, but they're divorced but now. But yeah. <laughs> Wait. So he hated me. <laughs> we had another update just yeah. snuck in there at the end. Oh, no, they're married now. They're now they're divorced. Now they're divorced. <laughs> but he hated me for the longest time and I'm like I didn't make her do it she wanted exactly. to go on her own I you know like this was misplaced anger <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. So that's something I did when I was younger and I got caught, but I didn't get caught oh. to the end. And if it's only if he never snitched, I would have got away with it. If it wasn't yeah. for those meddling kids, we would have gotten away with it. Krista says, I ran away from New Jersey to Washington, D.C. as a kid. Wow. How far away is that? That's far. That's like a train ride. Yeah, Krista says, ride. Mom and Dad were scared to death. Oh, oh yeah, that's sad. I know. Oh, I didn't my gosh. run anywhere. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I was definitely like a, a kid that got into a little bit of trouble, but never like without my parents knowing about it. Like yeah. I almost was like, I used their consent against them. Like I was like, well, mom and dad said it's okay to go to senior skip day. So I'm going up north with a couple buddies or like, I never did anything super weird. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I probably have just like buried it deep inside me somewhere, <laughs> exactly. the stuff that I got away with. <laughs> You're like, I'm, it's Not never coming it up, out. Never. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I confess to everything. I'm a terrible liar. So my mom would just take a look at me and she would be like, oh, and then I would just confess everything. Well, what was something that you did that you, I mean, obviously you didn't get away with it because you told on yourself. I know, I always told myself. So <laughs> it's like yourself. skipping school, yeah. you yeah. know, that became like a big thing. Um, being at someone's house, you weren't supposed to be at that person's house, mm. a lot of that. A partaking in probably. some <laughs> cocktails when yeah. I probably wasn't supposed to be partaking in cocktails, things like that. Nothing crazy. I never snuck out or did anything like that because I was too afraid. Our house was like a fortress. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you were not going to sneak out of my house. <laughs> It was under lock and key. We have um, we had an alarm system, so anytime like the windows open or yeah. the doors open, it would tell you that it opened. So there was no way you I could get away. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, my parents were all over the security <laughs> with two daughters in the house. Yeah, <laughs> my dad planted a, a cactus in front of my window. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To make sure that I didn't Nobody sneak out or that anybody up. came in. That's so, smart. That's some next level even stuff. Even the landscape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's still oh, there. Puzzle my puzzle parents still have the house, and it's in front of my room, and it's huge. It's a guard oh, cactus. Right now. It was oh just gosh. missing a moat. <laughs> There's a shark in it. There's a shark. That is awesome. Your dad's oh. so smart. Yeah, he's like, here you go. You ain't going out of this window. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, oh we gosh. got a couple other ones here. Um, it was only uh, in the end because you got caught and were afraid to do it again. Um, chasing tornadoes with friends as a teenager and growing up in Oklahoma, says Denise. That is a dangerous That's thing to do scary. without your parents' permission. Holy yeah. smokes. Um, we did our fair share of uh, underage drinking as a kid, and, mm -hmm. and we got caught a couple times in, mm -hmm. in some interesting ways. Um, well, the worst thing that ever happened, I think, was a buddy's uh, open house. He had like a bonfire out back. This is senior year of high school. And uh, I was spending the night at a friend's place who lived like within walking distance mm -hmm. of this friend who was having the big party. And uh, as kids are wont to do, we, we had a little too much and uh, lost my shoes walking back to the friend's house. Then we decided we were going to jump a fence to go swimming in their apartment oh, pool. Boy. Um, lost my keys in the pool, but I was smart enough to throw my phone in my car beforehand. But what happened is I literally threw it in the car. And so I broke my phone. <gasps> I lost my keys in the pool, and I lost my shoes no on the shoes. walk. And uh, so the next morning, like, Dad had to come pick me up because I couldn't get into my car, which I'd locked my now broken phone into. Ugh. And it was a big mess. And so, like, Dad's punishment to the hungover 17-year-old version of me was to, like, make me go to a whole bunch of different, like, errands with him throughout the oh, day. Yeah. Just, like, feeling like hell Arrows and, like, barefoot. Oh. Like, barefoot. Like, no, you're walking into Kmart barefoot because oh you gosh. lost your shoes. Like, this is what happens. And it was just, like, I like your dad. the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to steal that one. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. All right, let's get to some fresh squeezed juice before we say goodbye, yeah. shall we? See, All right. is it here? Are you oh, doing yeah. it, Vanessa? Do you, you got to do it? All right, there's a new addition to the Flip or Flop family. Ooh. Christina Anstead just welcomed her third child. Her husband, is that right? Aunt Anstead? Aunt, Aunt Anstead? Is okay. that a oh. name? So you may recognize her from the hit show Flip mm. or Flop, which she hosted with her ex-husband. She still hosts with them, right? The ex yeah, they're still doing Tarek. it. Tarek, the two have two children together. Um, so this family now welcomed Hudson, great name, <laughs> London Anstead over the weekend. Wait, so who's Aunt Anstead then? That's the, that's the new, new husband? husband. The new husband. Oh. Yeah, so okay. they got the full blended family thing going on. I always am amazed that they still work together, but I guess they were saying that their show I think they had is to, such right? a success. Yeah, that the network was like, look, you gotta, you got to make this happen if you guys both want your paycheck. Yeah, <laughs> I think careers. they had to do it. Um, but uh, initially, they were. it was like it was a bad divorce. Amicable. Yeah, they were not <laughs> getting all. along. And then she found this new guy right away. Yeah. Well, He's a hottie, whoever he is. Which makes me wonder... Is that, that she was, oh, was she cheating on him? Dun, I feel dun, like dun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Show I, your role. I'm this totally, trying to be a happy story here. This is a happy, positive story. But I do feel like you're saying this all, this new aunt came quickly. He did. 
What do you think? Because uh, Tarek was not pleased. Mm. All I know is I always <laughs> get that I look like her. <laughs> do you? Yes. Wait, oh, now that it. you just yeah. pointed yeah. that out. Yeah. I've Ooh. never all my life had somebody say that I look like any type of yeah. celebrity, but I always get her. Yeah. I see it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, watch really Can we put her back? Instead. Can we pull her up? A p closer picture. Well, now that sounds like a side answered. one, but I, I do get the, from, from the viewers and from friends and things, I get that. Hey, yeah. yeah, her. I'm Googling it, hold on. I gotta see more examples of this. I know, it's hard to tell. That is true, that is true, because I've watched the show a few times, and that's that's correct. See, and I have not watched this show, so I'm not sure the connection, but I believe y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a good you show. You can be her fill-in. See, why go. she's on maternity leave right now, tell them that you'll take <laughs> yes. over taping. <laughs> All right, come in here. Let's take a look at this, Dave. Oh, I don't you got know, the man. side-by-side? Side? What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't know about a side-by-side, side, but we got we got a little bit. Look at she That's does. Close, right? I can see maybe it. The hair. I can see it. Maybe certain photos. Yeah. Or maybe more. You know how photos are different than like when you added in mannerisms. I don't know. You're 15 times better looking. I don't oh, know. Oh, thanks, Paul. I'm not gonna bother with that. And All right. Any more to say about how we want to spend our money? What would you guys do with $120,000? You're talking to them, us, who, you, what? them, <laughs> you, whoever. You choose. We. we already said ours. Yeah, we shared ours. So what would you okay. do? Uh, yeah, I think my first mind, I think a lot of people were saying buy a home or put it towards your home. Um, I really like the idea of, you know, either, I mean, I feel like $120,000 doesn't stretch that far it nowadays. That far. No, no. Not, not according to those two. I know. How did they do that? <laughs> they got a lot out of that. But yeah, it'd be, I mean, that wouldn't even be enough to go for, for a whole home, but it'd be nice to extend it to charities and to go on a nice vacation, of course. I could see you rescuing lots of puppies. Animals, yes, lots of animals. Lots of That'd be great. And employing like Vanessa to, to, to manage the puppy, <laughs> We'll do it together. The puppy rescue. There you go. Yeah. We'll together. I'll help out. I'll I'm in on this business it. plan. I love it. All right, guys. That's it for us this morning. We'll be back here tomorrow at 7.30 for another edition of the Today in AZ After Show. If you find $100 in the street, uh, give it to Vanessa. She'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> at least the end, the end of the, of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It hey, it was legit, right? Like, I turned it I in. Like that. That's a good policy. <laughs> I had lots of uh, corn dogs and fried Oreos. <laughs> and I love corn dogs. The $100. <laughs>